Hello, and welcome to this episode of Frankie's Cultural Observations. Today, we're going to be analyzing Americans that think they're Irish. Americans that think they're Irish are definitely not Irish, but it's not their fault for getting mixed up. The tourism industry commissioned movies like The Quiet Man and Banshees of Inishirin to create a false memory in Bert from Wisconsin's Middle American Consciousness, manipulating him into feeling a personal connection towards iron jumpers, shamrocks and sheep. But on a positive note, he just found out that Ireland isn't actually in the UK. Ireland isn't actually in the UK. He just found out that Ireland isn't actually in the UK. In the modern world, Ireland has been platformed as a timeless, otherworldly tourist gaze. A playground for Americans to explore their Irish heritage in the land of a thousand welcomes. It's the friendliest place in the world, as long as you're open carrying a credit card that you're willing to max out in the Leprechaun Museum. Uh, I'm from uh, Connecticut in the States, but uh, my father's from Tyrone, so I'm Irish. Okay. Americans that think they're Irish are so cute. They're a naive, hopeful species that think a random Irish person is going to lead them to a pot of gold. But in the current climate, they'd be lucky to find a pot to piss in. The gold is urine. On the global level, Ireland is being airbrushed into a place that transcends national identity, cleaning up the colonial wound in the hopes that it doesn't go gangrene before St. Patty's Day, when the busloads of Minnesota natives will come here and start looking for a place that sells green Guinness. These American tourists live action role play as Irish people and they do a pretty successful job until they open their mouths and ask you for directions to the book of Kelly's. We know all about the fact that y'all aren't part of the UK. Oh, you know that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, we good. We went to Netflix special on it right before we came. Oh, is that, get, you found out from Netflix? Our, we, to get in touch with our Irish uh, roots. Americans that think they're Irish see Ireland as a blank okay. canvas into which they can splurge their all-American seed which is why, as soon as they step off the plane, they waste no time in telling everyone about how great it is to be back in the motherland, before walking directly into a self-proclaimed Irish pub and handing over a tenner for a pint of water down stout to celebrate their 23andMe diagnosis of 3% Irish. Our bodies are made up of mostly water, but that doesn't mean we all get to be a bottle of Ballygown. Americans that think they're Irish claim to be pro-women, but as soon as they come to the Molly Malone statue, they instantly start touching her tits. Americans that think they're Irish are highly creative beings. They're completely undeterred by the parameters of reality. They refuse to let being born and raised in the USA get in the way of their imaginary Irishness. Therefore, Americans that think they're Irish come here to find a new national sense of self, because their current one is just guns, double glazed donuts and Donald Trump. However, Americans that think they're Irish swear they're different than all the other American tourists. They claim higher levels of Hibernian authenticity because they one time Googled the wolf tones and they know the O'Malley's from Cork. The O'Malley's from Cork who emigrated to Boston 200 years ago to become cops. I don't know them, 